Hey everybody, PD Mangan here again with another video from Rogue Health and Fitness. Hey, you know, the other day I posted a pic on Twitter of me. Uh, the pic was this one of me uh, standing next to my car and I titled it that uh, I was age 62 and it's not time, to, it's the new 62 and it's not time to cash your chips in yet. So uh, I got a lot of interest in that after Mike Cernovich retweeted it. So, you know, he's got like, what, uh, 250 million followers or something. Um, and so uh, I got a lot of replies, most of them, you know, great. Uh, um, and one guy said, uh, you must be taking testosterone. So, you know, that's not a criticism. I don't have anything against taking, uh, test, getting testosterone replacement therapy if you need it. Uh, <clears throat> but the fact is, I don't. So uh, the point that I wish to make with that remark is that it's kind of assumed that if you're an older man, you know, I'm 62, if you're an older man and you're in shape, you must be doing something like taking testosterone. That is not the case. Uh, I know uh, uh, there's another well-known name in health and fitness, um, and he's uh, just a couple of years older than I am, fantastic shape, lean and muscular, and I've often seen people say that about him. Oh, he's on TRT and not telling anybody. Well, I don't know of any evidence, and the fact is that, you know, you don't need to take TRT to be in shape as an older man. You need to uh, eat a low-carb, whole foods diet, and you need to lift weights, and you need discipline to stick with it. That's all. It's both hard and easy. The method is easy. The discipline is a little harder and it's also hard work once you get into the gym. In any case, like I said, I don't have anything against uh, testosterone replacement therapy if needed, but I think most men would be better off trying the, uh, the easier or the simpler route first to diet and exercise. In any case, uh, I do take an aromatase inhibitor which boosts nat natural testosterone production, but I don't take any exogenous testosterone. In any case, I also take a couple of supplements. One I think is just absolutely critical, magnesium. And the other, almost as critical, zinc. So in addition to my aromatase uh, inhibitor, I take these supplements. And these will help make sure that your testosterone is, in the, is, is at the optimal value. Because if you're deficient in them, you can have low testosterone. So I may want to make sure that I'm not deficient in them and that doesn't happen. So I discuss these supplements and the aromatase inhibitor and more in my new book, The Supplements for Men. It's just out. It's on Amazon. You can read about it on my website, Rogue Health and Fitness. And uh, remember, you know, you don't want to be average. The average man my age doesn't look so hot. So get on it, work at it, and you can be way better than average. Okay, see you next time.